So I had a patient in her late 20s come and see me in clinic, and her main complaint was abdominal pain and diarrhea. She had these complaints for about two to three months, and she would tell me that every time she ate something, she would have abdominal pain, and it would be followed by loose, watery stool. Her friends told her she probably had IBS because they were told they had the same thing when they saw a doctor. But IBS is a diagnosis of exclusion, so I worked her up. I did some stool studies, and in those stool studies were an inflammatory marker called fecal calprotectin, and that was elevated. She also mentioned some rectal bleeding that she saw when wiping, which she thought were hemorrhoids. The elevated inflammatory marker and the bleeding are both red flags. So I did a colonoscopy, and what I found were findings suggestive of mild to moderate ulcerative colitis. She had inflammation with superficial ulcerations throughout her left colon and rectum. We started treatment, and her symptoms completely resolved. The point of this story is that not all diarrhea is IBS. If your symptoms persist, it's very important to get a full evaluation.